Welcome back to this uh, special program. It's a community showcase and uh, we're hosting uh, the uh, responsibles from Red Cross and from Red Cross uh, and from the Children's Hospital Trust. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them for their efforts, accept from them and grant them success uh, in this uh, in this endeavor, inshallah. Uh, they need your donations, they need your help, they need your support. And uh, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, inna min ahabb al-a'mal ila Allah surur tudkhiluhu ala qalbi muslim. From the, 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 the most uh, loved actions to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happiness, to bring happiness into the hearts of others. You will bring happiness into the hearts of so many children who are waiting for your help, who are in pain currently and waiting for your help. When we help this hospital and we support this hospital, it needs our donations and needs our support to upgrade their, uh, their emergency. Coming to uh, our guest, uh, Dr. Elwiz, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept uh, your, your, your actions, reward you for it. And uh, Dr. Elwiz, uh, speaking about the cases, what kind of cases you receiving uh, daily in, 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 in Red Cross? And are you managing with these cases? And did you receive any corona, corona cases at the moment? So thank you, Samir, for that question. Um, <coughs> we receive all the childhood illnesses, as you know, that many of them are actually related to infection. So things like um, diarrhea and respiratory infections are the most common. We see lots of children who come in with seizures and convulsions because of epilepsy or sometimes actually because of infection, sometimes meningitis, something really serious as, as that. Um, we see a lot of tiny babies who come with uh, infection and as you know, tiny babies can't talk. And mm. so the mother says, I think my child is sick. And we, we take that very seriously and we check them over. Mm. And sometimes we do need to do some tests and keep them in. Now that's a terrible thing. But luckily we do have space for a mother and a child to be close mm. together in the wards. Um, the, every year, there's a season called the surge season, the pediatric surge season. And that's when we get a very marked increase in the number of diarrheal cases and uh, chest infections and upper respiratory tract infections. And so those are the ones that keep us extremely busy at this time, going right through to June, July, uh, we expect to be very busy. And for this year, the coronavirus is going to be coming in. Mm. Mm. Uh, so far, we haven't managed to test any find any positives. We have done some testing, but uh, luckily so far, nothing. Nothing, alhamdulillah. But you, you, you're ready for that, even if it happens? We have been making many preparations. This has been going from top mm. management right down to every worker that works at Red Cross Hospital is in preparation for what might come through. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, 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 make us or grant us success yeah. in this endeavor that we manage to upgrade. I consider it the project of the whole community. It's not just the project of one person, it's the project of the whole community. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming to Sister Aisha, uh, what will you say to our community and our Muslim community specifically? I'm mm. talking about Muslim community. What will you say to them to encourage them to donate mm -hmm. to this project specifically? Mm. So, shukran for the question, um, <coughs> Samir. So, you know, as as Muslims, there's there's we are prescribed. It, it's part of of our makeup. It's part of our being. It's part of our laws of Islam yes. to, to to give sadaqah and to donate. And there's so many, I mean, Sheikh itself has, has, has given so many verses from the Quran and Ahadith that, that speaks to us. And, and one of them, in actual fact, that I, that I recently learned um, in, in the time of our beloved Rasul, so wasalam, that there was a tribe that was called the Ashari tribe. Mm. And they went through a time of difficulty. Yes. And in that time of difficulty, the tribe actually came together. And what they did is they took of what they had and they shared it amongst one another <coughs> and when our beloved Prophet وسلم, saw this you know he actually said to them these people are of me so so you know I look at that and and every Muslim wants to be with our beloved Rasul وسلم, every one of us as Muslims wants to be a part of our beloved Rasul وسلم. so appealing to our Muslim community that, that by giving sadaqa to, you know, um, the Children's Hospital Trust in support of Red Cross Hospital, um, 
and giving as much as what you can, you must know that you are part of our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The community is always supportive, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. for this reason. And inshallah, you will, you will reach your goal. And uh, I believe you also have uh, uh, fundraising in Ramadan as well. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so, we have, so we have an awesome team of, of about 12 people in our fundraising team um, that is, you know, from marketing, communications, and right to our individual fundraisers. Um, and, and what we do, we appeal to our Muslim community to actually um, donate in, in the month of Ramadan. Mm. Um, and, and for various reasons, as us in Ramadan, we know that, you know, um, Sadaqah mm -hmm. um, and, and giving it during the month of Ramadan, yes. the rewards mm -hmm. are, <laughs> yeah, the, the, re the rewards are plenty. Um, so we appeal to our Muslim community in the month of Ramadan, you know, donate your Sadaqah um, to the Children's Hospital Trust. Um, gain the reward from, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, more so than what you would um, in, in, in other times of, 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 of the year. But continue, con continue, continue to give. And, and it's a sort of giving that, con that continues to give. Mm. So we speak to Sadaqa Tul exactly. And knowing that you are giving to a child, um, you're saving a life of a child, um, you're supporting a project that, that, <coughs> that supports a, a child in our community mm -hmm. and um, and through that you know that you know it's Sarakat al Jariya you continue giving you will gain rewards for the rest of your life until you pass on your parents will gain rewards and everyone else that has contributed in that way that's so correct. it's the gift that keeps on giving yes that's true <laughs> yes. you know so mentioning mentioning Sarakat al Jariya and uh, specifically uh, saving lives. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sorry, the, the verse in the Quran <coughs> in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَنْ أَحْيَاهَا فَكَأَنَّمَا أَحْيَا النَّاسَ جَمِيعًا When one saves one life as if you have saved the lives of all humanity. This is a verse in the Quran in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the importance of saving life. Red Cross Hospital is saving the lives of so many. And when we contribute towards the building or the renewal or the, the upgrade of the emergency of the Red Cross for sure, it is perpetual charity. It is charity which will remain forever, saving lives of others forever. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will reward us. Even if we left this world and passed away, our reward will still get it, inshallah, in paradise. Subhanallah. Uh, coming to you, Dr. Uh, Louise, uh, just maybe some encouragement from your side to our community at large to support Red Cross and to help in this campaign. I, mean, I really want to say a big thank you to the whole community mm -hmm. for their generosity, their thoughts, their prayers, their efforts to make this project succeed because we cannot do it without support from the community. Mm -hmm. And I really do want to also say thank you to the Children's Hospital Trust for being our champions and speaking and reaching out into the communities to garner support mm -hmm. for injured children, ill children, all these things are so important. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you so much to everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yes. Samir, if I, if I just may, you know, to, to and, and I forgot to say it earlier on, you know, Louise has just thanked the Children's Hospital Trust, but I cannot go without thanking um, the champions that actually lead the Children's Hospital Trust, which are people like Louise, mm -hmm. our doctors, our nurses, and all of them on the ground, mm -hmm. and, and keeping everyone in our thoughts um, at this point in time, because they are the ones that actually work around the clock in order to save them. We provide the fundraising, but they are the ones that's actually working mm -hmm. um, and, and putting everything in there. So thank you to all the doctors and the nurses um, from, from us. Doctor, doctor, also from your side, I, I want to say, uh, I want to, 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 to remind uh, and to encourage our community to give and to support this, uh, this project. Uh, what words of encouragement you can tell them? What, what what's nice stories you have in your mind to tell them about the, about the Red Cross, Red Cross did? Well, without your support, we really can't work very well. We see children that are rushed in who are critically ill Let's take an example. A very clear example is a child with diarrhea. Mm. Mm. Now, that's a very common problem. And little children become very dehydrated very quickly. And if they have the right resources in the nice, big enough place, we can give them life-saving fluid, life-saving emergency fluid. Mm. And I promise you, before your eyes, 
you will see the child turn around and get better. Mm -hmm. Before your eyes it will happen. Or if they are injured, the surgeons are extremely talented, but with the help of the community at large, we would really love to thank them for their support because we will then have the right space, all the right equipment to get them to theater, to get them to the intensive care unit. Our hospital works together. It's a, it's a network of team mm. of And, and you're doing all these team. services, doctor, for free? To, 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 this, is no a, cost. this is a public children's mm -hmm. hospital. And yes. so we look so forward to the help that we've been getting from the Islamic community. Mm -hmm. and thank you Inshallah. so yes. much for that. Thank you very much for, for, for coming today and for sharing with us your efforts. And inshallah, Allah will grant you success in this. Amen. And I, I started the program with a confession, my own confession, and I'm again ending the program with a confession. You're doing amazing work. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless these works and continue. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you success, inshallah, to upgrade the hospital and to make it more bigger mm -hmm. and to receive more cases and to be able to help more cases, inshallah. Uh, Allahumma Ameen. Thank you very much for, for coming to our studios today in Cape Town and uh, we're ending our program. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, from me, Sam Ahjad, and from our guests, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.